Morocco's new government has been asked to be formed by a business magnate and former agricultural minister who is regarded close to the palace, a controversial move that has sparked excitement and alarm. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to be updated of our newest uploads. Moroccan petroleum magnate Aziz Akanouche reinforces the general idea among the public that the petroleum business can generate substantial profits. Aziz Akanouche, a Moroccan businessman born into a wealthy family, has reached the peak of success due to his dedication and perseverance. Let's look at life through his eyes. Akanouche was born in 1961 in Tafraut, a town near Agadir in the anti atlas region. He is the son of a farmer. He had lost 10 members of his family, including two elder brothers who were 8 and 9 years old at the time, when an earthquake devastated the city in the southwestern region a year before. My mother and sister had been trapped in the rubble for several hours, I recall. I was born a year after that, he reportedly said in 2019 at a party youth event, one of the few public occasions on which the typically reserved party leader has opened up about his family. A great deal of information concerning his early childhood years has remained hidden from the public eye. In 1986, he graduated with honors from the University of Sherbrooke in Canada with a management degree. Early Career Aziz Akanouch's early career in business began with the family firm that he inherited from his father, which he later expanded. The Aqua Group was founded by his father, Ahmed Wakrim, and other business partners. When Aziz Akanouch graduated from the University of Sherbrooke, he immediately went to work for his father in the family business. However, it is unclear what position he joined in the Aqua Group of companies after graduating, according to the available information. Career Aziz is now the chief executive officer of the Aqua Group, which he has held since 2011. The organization has a wide range of commercial activities. The Aqua Group engages in trading natural gas, petroleum, and chemicals through its subsidiaries, Afrikia Gas and Maghreb Oxygen, respectively. Aziz chose to extend the business by expanding Aqua Group, which is now involved in real estate development, films and media, and hotel management, among other things. The risk taken proved to be profitable, as Aqua Group is currently the dominating name in these segments in Morocco, proving that the gamble was worthwhile. Aziz Akanouch, in addition to his entrepreneurial endeavors, is an active participant in Moroccan politics as well. Aziz Akanouch is the Minister of Agriculture and Maritime Fisheries of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, as appointed by His Majesty King Mohammed VI. His membership with the National Rally of Independence NRI, spanned from 2007 to 2012. As the Moroccan Minister of Agriculture and Maritime Fisheries, Ali Wakrim, Ahmed Wakrim's son, is in charge of the Aqua Group's affairs while Ahmed Wakrim is away on official business in Morocco. Career Highlights Aziz's achievement in both the business and political spheres differentiates him throughout his professional life. He has grown the Aqua Group into a multi-billion dollar conglomerate, with more than 50 separate businesses operating under its umbrella. In addition, he is highly sought after for critical managerial roles due to his extraordinarily effective management principles and practices. He is a member of the General Confederation of Moroccan Enterprises, or Confederation Générale des Entreprises de Maroc, CGEM. In addition, he serves as the director of the BMCE Bank and the director of the Academy Foundation. Personal Life Salwal Idrisi is Aziz Akinouch's wife, and they have two children. His wife is a successful businesswoman, and her company specializes in the development of shopping complexes and supermarkets. The couple parents three children. Aziz's dedication to his family, combined with his financial acumen, has enabled him to achieve phenomenal success in his work. Before we move on to Aziz Akinouch's achievements, be sure to like the video and share this to your friends. Please feel free to leave a comment down below and we'll make sure to read that. Achievements Aziz is considered to be one of the most trustworthy individuals by the Moroccan government. This trust allowed him to serve as a Mohammed VI Foundation's Environmental Protection Committee member. Because of his modesty and humility, he has been appointed director of the Mohammed VI Foundation's Integration of Prisoners program. According to Forbes, his total assets are valued at $1.37 billion as of December 2015. The newly appointed leader. In the eyes of his friends and supporters, the newly chosen head of government is Oweld Anas, which translates to raised well. His critics describe him as a featherweight, a thin-skinned politician with a poor record, and someone who was parachuted into the position. For the most part, Aziz Akanouch, the new interim Prime Minister of Morocco, has been a divisive figure. 
a man so divisive that many predicted the end of his political career in 2018, when Morocco's largest petrol distributor, Afrikia, which Akanuch's holding company owns, was targeted by an unprecedented consumer boycott. In its early stages, supporters of Akanuch viewed the movement as a rejection of his leadership of the centrist National Rally of Independence, RNI party, and his status as one of the kingdom's wealthiest men. However, on September 8th, his critics were proven wrong when the RNI won the country's parliamentary elections and Akanuch was named the country's prime minister. The party, which was created in 1978 by Ahmed Osman, the brother-in-law of King Hassan II, can brag of an unparalleled triumph thanks to the efforts of C. Aziz, as some refer to him as a mark of respect. The RNI gained 102 of the 395 seats in the parliament, handily defeating the Islamist Justice and Development Party, PJD, which finished seventh with only 13 seats, down from 125 in 2011. As a result, on September 10th, Mohammed VI appointed Akanush as the leader of a new administration. After narrowly winning the election, Akanush has forced the conservative PJD Islamist Party from power, the party, which had previously led various coalitions for a decade, had fallen out of favor with voters due to Morocco's lagging economic performance during the pandemic, which contributed to its demise. According to Agence France Press, Akanouch has previously stated that the primary commitment of the party is to work sincerely as long as we enjoy the confidence of citizens to better their everyday lives, to accomplish their objectives, and to restore confidence in their representatives. A television address by Akanuch hailed his election as a victory for democracy. Still, the executive branch of the government in Morocco continues to be dominated by King Mohammed VI, who marked 22 years on the throne in July. The Alawi dynasty has retained significant influence over Moroccan foreign policy and the army and judiciary, despite King Mohammed VI's introduction of several significant reforms, including expanding women's rights in 2004. This has been the case even after the Arab Spring of 2010. In addition, the king is a significant stakeholder in Moroccan business. Since the 1990s, the new head of government and successor to Saad Adin El Othmani has been a member of the palace's inner circle, and he has developed close ties with Mohammed VI and his advisor, Faoud Ali El Himam. As a result, Akanuj is unlikely to cause the monarch any significant problems. He had become so well-liked that he can boast of being one of the very few politicians to have hosted Mohammed VI at his luxury villa in Casablanca on at least two occasions, the first time during Ramadan in 2013 and again in June 2016, four months before Akanuch was elected to the position of RNI Chief Executive Officer. Net Worth In contrast, according to Forbes, Akanuch has a net worth of $2 billion dollars partly due to his ownership of a stake in the Aqua Group, a Moroccan conglomerate with headquarters in Casablanca that is a prominent participant in the country's oil and gas industries. Having inherited his part in Aqua from his father, who founded the company in 1932, Akanuch is still a substantial shareholder in the organization today. Akanuch also has investments in publicly traded companies such as Afrikia Gas, which has seen a 22% increase in value, and Maghreb Oxygen, which has seen an 8% increase in value, as well as the Caracter Media Group and a luxury tourism and golf resort in Taghazout Bay, among other projects. Salwa Idrisi Akanuch, Akanuch's wife, was rated the 19th most powerful woman in business in the Middle East by Forbes Middle East in its Power Business Women 2021 list. Salwa Idrisi launched the retail Axel Group in 2004, bringing international brands to the Moroccan market, including Fendi, Gucci, Ralph Lauren, Zara, Banana Republic, Massimo Dutti, Pull and & Bear, and Gap. As a result, Akanush follows in the footsteps of former President Donald Trump in the United States and Andre Babis in the Czech Republic as leaders. They have recently leveraged their business credentials to take power in countries where improving economic conditions for working people is a crucial message on the campaign trail. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and keep an eye out for our next video. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you in our future videos.